Five years ago, I posted a little video on YouTube called The Night. It was my graduation film for college. A standalone little animation I always wanted to make and then finally, I had the opportunity to do it. I presented it to my judging panel, got my grade, graduated, and then nothing became of it for about a year. And now, and I know I say that a lot, look how far we've come. Hello, hello, my pretty darlings. Here we are at the end of season one of the Vampire series, and I've come to the realization that the character sheet of these two is way overdue for a new one. So come on, let's make a new character sheet while I take the time to answer a bunch of questions you all graciously supplied me with. Now, I would answer every single question, but there were just too many. Also, some of them were kinda just spoilery, and I don't want to ruin the series for you all. With that said, let's get started. Did you think the vampire story would become as popular as it did? And did you have an idea on it being a series or was it just going to be one singular episode? Nope, definitely didn't see it coming. The Night originally took almost a year to get its first 1000 views. So I just assumed it's not written in the stars that I'll be a YouTuber. But then, something happened. I was lucky enough to be chosen to get a part in Crown Prince's flyaway map, and things changed. People started discovering my channel, the YouTube algorithm started recommending the night to everyone, and boom, it became a viral hit in less than a week. That was wild. And no, the night was meant to be a standalone project. But since it took me 8 months to finish it, I already started developing the characters and future episodes in my head while working on it. So even before it went viral, I was already working on Land of the Dead. Just for fun, you know? What was your inspiration for making Missy? What was your inspiration for making the show? Does Missy have brothers or sisters? The inspiration for making Missy was... I needed a girl character to be chased by this vampire dude for my animation. My inspiration for making the show was listening to Voltaire's music, which gave me ideas. And fortunately, it came at a time I kinda needed to do this essential college project anyway. And Missy does have a sister, we already saw her. Her name is Vanessa, or Nessa for short. Missy's family will come into play more later. How far have you planned the series? I had the entire first season and almost all of season 2 planned before Land of the Dead was even done. So uh, yeah, pretty far. There's a reason why there's so much foreshadowing to stuff way further down the line. Just, you know, sucks it takes me so long getting there. Is Missy 17 or 18? Her birthday passed but she's still immortal. Also, how old is Duke and Vanessa? She's almost 18 in the night, and from Land of the Dead onward, she's 18. Her birthday passed in the real world, but in the series, time moves separately. Although it takes me months to make each episode, months aren't passing in the story. In fact, <laughs> Chapter 3, Part 3.5, Episode 4, and the fifth one all happen in the same night. Wrap your juicy brains around that. Anyway, when I celebrate Missy's birth date in a speed drawing, it's more for the novelty of it, not because she aged in the series. She's still 18 until further notice. But she isn't immortal. Let's just say she's borrowing the power of a vampire, not actually being one like Duke. Duke's age will be revealed in season 2. Anessa is 20. Was Duke once human himself and the cane turned him over to the other side and furthermore, is Irad an ancestor of Duke? Yes, Duke used to be a human, but it wasn't the cane that transformed him, it was another vampire. Now, for those of you who don't know who Irad is, she is a vampire from the prequel series to Vampire called Threnody by Miss Me. The series occurs in the same universe as mine, but way in the past. Every September I draw a character from Threnody for me and Mina's friendiversary. If you want to delve a bit more into the lore of this universe, you can check out her series, the link is in the description. But no, Irad isn't an ancestor of Duke. What would happen if Missy lost the cane, or if the cane broke or burned? Well, those are three very different things. 
If she loses the cane, she'll go back to being human, though it will take longer for her to go back depending on how long she was holding the cane prior. If the cane breaks, well, let's hope it doesn't. It's too strong to be broken physically at least anyway. If it gets burned, well, that's a whole tin of worms you just opened. So let's put that lid back on for now. Will the cane continue to be an important object throughout the series? Yes. When's the Netflix adaptation coming? Uh, if it's not a live action one, I'm not interested. When is Duke's birthday and how old is he? Ah, the wonderful things we can look forward to in season 2. Happy anniversary to you! Why, thank you, dear. I've been happily married to this series for 5 years now. I've always wondered what is your profile P character. I've seen it used several times in your videos, but never heard what it was. Oh, that's just my shadow persona. Don't you have one? In the night, what was Missy doing in there in the first place? Did she want shelter or something else? Season 2. Is there a reason Missy has a birthmark on her side? Alright. Yeah, that's pretty self-explanatory. What drawing tablet do you use to animate with, and will you continue doing tablet reviews in the future? I'll be making two more tablet reviews soon. The tablet I'm using right now is a Huion Canvas 22 Plus. I got it for free from Huion to review almost a year ago, and it never left my desk since. It's just as good as Wacom, but cheaper. Highly recommended. This video isn't even sponsored. Any new characters? Ah, uh, yes, a bunch. Looking back on some of your animations, do you wish there were some things you could have changed, or there were some things you weren't satisfied with, or did you love everything about them? Well, here's a good tip for any artist. It's unlikely you'll ever be 100% satisfied with what you make. You'll always wish something was done better, but you still have to create nonetheless. If you care too much about perfection, you'll never finish anything. Trust me. Hmm, would I have changed anything? No. Would I have fixed anything? Yes. This thing, this thing, this thing. I'm sure there's more mistakes I've made, but those are just the ones from the top of my head. And if you noticed any more mistakes in my animations, leave a comment. Are Missy and Do going to be just friends, or is it a romantic relationship? Uh, I think they are past the just friend stage by now. Once you start chasing someone with fire, you know it's serious. Why they are vampires but we never see them drinking blood? Missy isn't exactly a real vampire, so she doesn't technically need blood. Although I never clarified what was in her glass, did I? Hmm. Duke, however. That boy needs to eat more. Not to be a Jewish mom stereotype or anything, but have you seen how skinny this kid is? I'm worried about him. I really am. <laughs> Will human Missy ever make an appearance in future animations or art? Eventually. There's a reason why she's not showing up much right now, and it ain't pretty. Can we please get a map or a sketch of the castle? Ha! Hell no! The layout of this castle makes no goddamn sense, it's endless. Also, I just hate drawing architecture, it's too... calculate for my taste. I'm more of a characters person, ones I can draw with noodly arms and smear frames, thank you very much. If you want to make sense of that mess of a castle, go ahead, I'm not making it. Whenever I need a room for a scene, it's there. I don't know where anything in that place is in relation to anything else. Which chapter took you the longest to animate, and which one was the most draining? The longest was Land of the Dead, it took over a year to finish, which is kinda ironic, because it's the shortest clip. It took so long because I had a full-time job as an animator in a studio, so I could only work on it on my free time and weekends. The most draining one had to be the showdown, because it had both a lot of full body shots, which take the longest to draw, and dancing choreography, which is hard to plan and animate. If Missy's familiar is a cat, then what is Duke's familiar? A dog. More specifically, this one. I mean, come on, a good toxic couple means one dog person and one cat person just for the animosity alone, right? 
What is your favorite part of making animations? The animating! It's also the hardest part, but you finally get to see them come to life, so to speak. And it's really satisfying. If you had to pick one, what would be your favorite animation you made? It's going to have to be a tie between Land of the Dead and The Silent. Well, that's all the questions I'm gonna answer today. I am drained, I am parched, I am exhausted. So I couldn't answer everything, but I'm only human. In theory. We're going to have to save the other questions for a future Q&A. Until then, stay spooky, my pr- But wait! There's more! Since you watched the video all the way to the end like a good darling, you get to hear this special announcement. I have new merch available on my store. Yes, indeed, I made pins and keychains to celebrate the five-year anniversary of the series, and just look at them. Aren't they precious? There are only 50 of each, so you better get them fast while you still can. If you want to own them, and them to own your soul, there's a link to my store in the description. Until then, stay spooky, my pretty darlings. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.